Hey guys, John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru here. Today we're going to be looking at using Spring MVC Test to test an index action on a controller. So what, what I have is an index controller and it returns a simple timely view at, to display a, a static page. So in this case, my request mapping goes to the root of the web context and returns back a view of index and we'll show you the index page it returns. So this is a simple time leaf template that we return back using the index controller. And what we want to do is unit test that interaction. So we're going to use Spring MVC test, and we do this by declaring a property of mock MVC. In my JUnit test, in the setup method, I'm going to initialize the controller, and then I'm going to use the mock MVC builder and build a standalone setup. This is going to allow me to build an MVC instance based on the index controller and configure that within the uh, mock MVC context. Now I'm going to perform a test of the text and in test index method and I have the standard JUnit template so that I have a public method it returns void and it's annotated with that test and then on the mock MVC I'm going to do a perform and I'm going to tell it to perform a git action and the URL is going to be just a simple slash so that's root context. I'm going to expect that it returns back a status of OK that's an HTTP status and I want to return back the view name of index. We're going to go, let's go ahead and run this now. And we can see that the test passed. I can get it to fail, just to show you a failure, if I change the, the view name. We can see that it actually fails, because I, I told it I was expecting one view, got back another one. So this is a very easy way to test your Spring MVC controllers and, and test the interaction. So, and important to point out that Spring MVC test is bringing up a dispatcher servlet context and running through all the code that it would normally run through. So this includes your test annotations, your handler mappings, all that stuff is being tested within this context. So anything that needs to be bound from a, a forum or something like that can get caught by Spring MVC test and passed on to your controllers because it is running through all the spring plumbing around the dispatcher servlet. Thank you.